Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you some rules on compensate composition. Keep getting that wrong. I'm going to be shooting my two dogs. Um, I'm going to show you how I compose for just one, uh, using mostly rule of thirds, um, and then I'll show you how I compose uh, to try and get both of the dogs in uh, to get a nice shot of, of the two of them together playing. So uh, here we go. No why? Why would you do that? Fergal! Go on that way. That way. Okay, so uh, the dogs don't really seem to be wanting to run around, which is unusual. But, uh, okay, just uh, to let you know, I've started off at f3.5 at uh, 1 250th of a second at ISO 400. I think that should be right. Um, and I'm just shooting the back of my dog. It's a little bit overexposed, so I'll bring my shutter speed up because hopefully they'll start running around, so I really want to capture that. Um, and you really want to try and fill the frame as best as you can, which is why I've broken out this 200. Um, as you can see here, I'm just shooting butt, but I will try pose properly. Shooting into the, the light that way, uh, it becomes a little bit overexposed, but I, I want to try and shoot that way because uh, it's sort of in between the light being over there and it being darker over there. Normally, um, with doing just natural light, you'll want to shoot with the sun behind you so it's illuminate your, illuminating your subject, unless you have something like a reflector which then shooting into the light uh, can give a really nice rim light and uh, and you can use that reflector to reflect the light back on to their face. Okay, so again I'm trying to compose to leave area for the dog to look into for any animal that you're shooting. Come on. Look, show the camera how stupidly wet you are. Ew, I'm going to have to wash you when I get back now. No, you're an idiot. You are an idiot. Go away. Go and run. Go on. For flips. Okay, so my lens is wet now, but... Okay, now things like this can look cool. Um, when you have one dog in the foreground in focus and then another dog in the background out of focus that can be a, a, a cool way to compose the two dogs. Fergal! Fergal! Um, oh, I see exposures right over that way, so. and it's tough because we've got this really nasty slope in the background, so on the photos you, you want to have your sort of horizon straight, but if I was to try and straighten the horizon then she'll look all weirdly slumped, um, and that's just unfortunate because of the the hill in the background so to try and overcome something like that uh, you get up and shoot down um, so you won't have the horizon um, you could try and get lower and shoot up a bit more no you're still you're still keeping that in there but yeah if you got up and shot down then that might work a bit better I'm going to try and do that now okay so now they're in a better place to shoot I'm trying to fill my frame as much as I can with dog. Okay, so that's about it for this. Um, 
it didn't go as you know as well as I wanted it to. The dogs decided to keep close, and also they decided to jump in a lake for some reason. So I'm going to have to clean them. Um, but they decided to keep really close to me. Um, so the 70 to 200 was not really a good idea because when they're close to you, the zoom it's not it's not working at 70 millimeters. It was just a bit short. Um, if I was doing it again. Uh, I would have the lens that is on the, um, the camera recording this right now uh, on this body, 14 to 24, would have been able to get them because they're really, really close towards me. I'm saying that as they're going really far away from me. Also, I could have used the 50mm 1.4G, but unfortunately I didn't bring that with me. But that's it. Even when you know things were going wrong, I still, I, I think I got some good shots. When they were both running together and it was side on like that, you know, I tried to get the gap in between them in the middle of the photo so both action points were were at either side of the, the um, at either side of the frame. When they were running head on and they were quite close, I tried to get them off to the side, you know. Um, but if they were running quite far apart, again, gap in the middle. Um, focus on uh, you know one of the dogs lock your you know get your focus point on that dog and then snap but your your gap in the middle um, that way both you know action points are at either side um, but when they were both running together obviously I'm trying to use rule of thirds get them off to the side also if they're running quite close together sideways on um, I put them off to the side but I put them off to the side here and have the gap the, the longest bit of the gap of the photo here so that way the dogs are looking in to the gap you're leaving space for them to look into it makes it much more interesting um, not entirely sure why but it, it sort of makes you think you know what's the dog running at why is it running that way you know um, you know any animal any animal at all you know what's it looking at why is it looking at that is it you know food or you know prey or or anything like that um, it's really good to leave space for the animal to look into so though, that was the video on uh, composition uh, not a great video um, sorry about that the conditions weren't as good as I, uh, I thought it would be got a really horrible slope in the background so unfortunately the horizon looks really awful um, and it cuts when I was down shooting low it cuts straight through the dog which is why I, I got up higher um, and shot down which still I, I never I never like shooting down because it just gives you the floor in the background yeah it can be blurred out sometimes but it just doesn't look great having just the grass in the background um, so that was composition also if you like my photography um, link in the description to my Facebook page also you can follow me on Twitter uh, add me on Facebook subscribe thumbs up if you didn't like it thumbs down comment tell me what I'm doing wrong just let me know I'm starting out here so uh, so bear with me